Good morning, everyone. I'm going to start my dinner for tonight, but it's 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to take a few minutes to prepare it and let it cook all day long in the family-sized Hot Logic container. It's going to be sausage stuffed in pepper rings with mini cheese ravioli and cheese sauce. So we're going to use about a pound of sausage. We're going to use a eight ounce bag of mini raviolis. These are dried. You can get them in the store shelf. Uh, about three peppers, some shredded Gruyere, and I'm going to use an Alfredo type sauce. This is Prego Artisan three cheese sauce. All right, I'm going to start by slicing the peppers in thick slices and stuffing them in the bottom of a casserole dish with the sausage. It'll only take a few minutes to prepare this and I'll show you how to put it together. All right, let's take the peppers and just take the core and the seeds out. All right, we're going to slice these uh, cored and seeded peppers into some rings. So let's make them about half inch to three quarters of an inch thick. And then we're going to set them on the bottom of the pan. I have a couple pieces of pepper left. We're going to save them till the end and see how we can fit them in. Let me move the dish forward here. We're going to take the sausage. I'm going to take it out of the casing and I'm going to stuff it in each one of the rings. So I'm just going to slip the casing here so we can get the sausage out. If you buy it without the casing, that's great. But for now. We're going to take pieces of the sausage and stuff them into the middle of these rings. And as the sausage cooks, it will shrink a little bit, so I like to put a little bit extra in there. Alright, we're going to use as many of the nice bigger rings as we can with this amount of sausage. So, we're going to use the rest of the peppers though in the dish. So, let's see how much we can fill. See, I'm just kind of stuffing it in here. So that it's flat on both sides, something like that. can get. These three peppers are not the largest though. They're just kind of medium sized peppers. Make this red one too.
Okay, so we got six pepper rings out of that. I'm going to spread them out. And then we're going to chop up the rest of these into pieces. All right, now we have all the pepper rings spread out in the pan, stuffed nicely. I'm going to take this small bag of ravioli. I'm going to lay this in between. I really like these little ravioli um, or tortellini bags because they don't take that long to cook and they get nice and tender and they have a filling inside so that's really cool also. So we'll take it off the tops of the peppers but spread it out throughout the pan. All right, then I'm going to put a layer of Gruyere cheese. This is one of my favorites. And it's nice for uh, cooking. It spreads out, I don't know, nice and cheesy. Good flavor. It's a little bit different than the usual, you know, it's a little bit different than some of the usual cheese we use, like cheddar and stuff. Okay, so we got this covered with a little cheese. And then I'm going to take all those nice pepper pieces that were left. I chopped them up into little niblets here. But look at the nice color and nutrition that this will add. So we're just going to spread this around too for some fun. Got to have the veggies. Got to have the veggies here. <laughs> Next I'm going to take the Prego Artisan 3 Cheese Sauce. This is kind of thick so I'm going to spread this around. Make sure that each of the sausage patties has that sauce over top of it. Make sure we get it all out with our nice little spurtle. Spread out a little bit and then we're going to add some water because remember those little raviolis are not cooked and they will absorb water. So I have about the same amount as the jar here. Let's just rinse the jar out. I have another jar full size of water and we're going to get the rest of that sauce out of there. I'm just going to pour that in so that we don't wash it off the top, but I just want to make sure it's wet all around the parts where the ravioli are laying. All right, now the family size <coughs> Hot Logic is a great size for servings like this. It fits a 9 by 13 pan, so we're just going to take the, if you'd like, let's put some pepper on this. You can add salt if you want to. There's a lot of seasonings in these sauces, so the sausage is also seasoned. It's Italian sausage, so we're going to stop with that so we get all the great flavors. Now let's put the lid on and take a look from the side. See there's quite a bit of water in there for the raviolis. The sausage will give some water too as it cooks. Those of you who have watched my Hot Logic videos before, I get a lot of questions about how is this cooked. It's a warming tray, but it's not just keeping things warm. It keeps it to the temperature that's similar to a low setting on a crock pot. So that's why we're cooking raw food in here. And it comes out really nice after so many hours. We're going to let this cook for eight hours today. And it'll be ready for supper time. So all we got to do is plug it in and go about our business. All right. Later in the day, Rick will be the first one to have supper, and he'll open this up and show you what it looks like, and possibly show you how it tastes. Consider this hot logic as a real time saver in your kitchen. This is the 9x13, and this is the 6-cup mini, 
which is so useful for warming up food or just individual or two-person servings. So, all right, I just want to show you that. And I'll put a link below in my description in case you're interested in getting them for yourself. All right, we'll be back later in the day with a sample of what this looks like when it's done cooking. Enjoy your day. I'm awake. Let's see what my supper is today. You might know. Something good. Ooh! What is it? Mmm, peppers. Smell them red peppers. You smell them? <laughs> Can you see it? Uh, oh yeah, sausage, peppers, mm. Ooh. and it looks like the oh, raviolis are on the edges there. Can you see? Oh, it's going to be good. Look at that. How convenient. This was cooking while I slept, you know that. Oh, it's in a pepper ring, see? Ooh. Mm. Delicious. Mmm. The hot logic is so convenient for cooking like this. I cook while I slept, you know. I'm going to put the lid back on for the next person that comes home. It's going to stay good. Get yourself a hot logic. If you didn't get one yet, I'm going to enjoy this. Use Kathy's discount code down there in the description. I think you saved 20%. That's pretty good, isn't it? Check them out. Use them all the time. Talk to you soon. Thank you.